Ariana Sabalenka, lover as a player, hate watching her for this exact reason. Welcome back to the Grand Salami Tennis Channel video. Today we're going to talk about something I think is a little controversial, and that is the grunt. It's called hindrance. It's a rule. It's always been there. It's not going to go away because it makes everything really fair. What, do you have some kind of drinking problems? It's a problem, Dan. That's alcohol abuse. Well, to be fair... Oh, don't say to be fair. I hate when people say to be fair. People have taken advantage of these rules to benefit their game. Now, I don't blame any of the athletes. I don't blame any of the coaches. What I do blame is the unfairness of how these particular rules of tennis, or this particular rule in tennis, is called. Can you imagine how stupid this call is? You cannot... This is gonna be on tennis TV, bro. Because of these rules, and because of the interpretation of these rules, the umpire in tennis can do whatever they want. They have really full autonomy to make the decision whether or not somebody is doing this or somebody is not doing this. Friction. Hindrance. Hindrance for what? And then there's some that don't follow the rule but get away with it. So at that point, whose fault is it, right? Is it the person who's grunting or is it the umpire's fault for not doing anything about it? So then when they finally do make the decision to call a hindrance call, it's a, it's a shock to everybody. Uh, say again, please. And I don't understand why. You knew when you did it, it was bad. Stop doing this. Stop going to the umpire and trying to neander your way out of it. It's not going to work. Houston, we have a problem. But I have never seen any umpire overrule their own decision when a player comes up to talk to them. Never. It's never happened. Stop doing it. It's not going to work. Baby, you know that's not how this works. Novak Djokovic during the Wimbledon, one of his matches, was called for a hindrance call. I rewatched the footage. We're going to watch it right now. Drop it. Hindrance. Port. Now. That's a hindrance. Well after the ball is hit, you decide you want to grunt? No, 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 no. Women, particularly, are really bad at this. Ariana Sabalenka, lover as a player, hate watching her for this exact reason. combat sports where you're punching somebody literally in the face, right? And they don't even grunt that hard. What Ariana Sabalenka, Maria Sharapova, Victoria Azarenka, what they all do are not, they're not breathing, okay? This is not a breath when you, ah! It's not a breath. At that point, it's not a breath. It's annoying. And it's annoying to your competitor. And it should be called more. What do we do? What are we talking about here? Hindrance. What? This should be called absolutely every time Ariana Sabalenka hits a ball. It lasts way too long, and when she hits it into the net, she can stop it. She stops the breath. She stops it. So you're telling me that this is a, is a technique to help you hit the ball harder? No, it's not a technique to help you hit the ball harder. This is a ploy for you to skirt around the rules to hinder your, your opponent. I had a couple Red Bulls. Have you ever had a Red Bull? I never had a Red Bull before, but I had a Red Bull last night. I really like Red Bull. Let's take a, let's take a breath real quick. The crowd is not even allowed to make noise during points. Ladies and gentlemen, please, during the rally, do not scream. Some fans are getting pretty excited. Yet, the players are making the most noise during a point and it's making it unfair for their opponent. It's a, it's a fact. If I came up behind a golfer during a golf shot and clapped and clapped my hands, they would be startled and I'd probably get thrown out of the, the tournament or wherever I was at. Why is this any different? Tennis is already long enough as it is, okay? It's, it's grueling. It could be five hours, could be two hours, could be an hour and a half, could be five minutes, depending on who, if someone retires. It's already long, and you already, had a, you already have to prepare your body to go through the most extremes. Tennis is like trying to run a 10K and play chess at the same time. It's that, it's that hard, okay? It's not an easy sport. If a player stops and goes, hey man, that's not cool. 
they're doing this in the middle of my swing, it's really loud and it's hindering my ability to play, they'll, the person who is complaining is going to get the penalty for a, de for a delay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah! So why take the chance? Why take the chance of, of complaining when you can when you know that it's not going to go your way? I wouldn't. I would just let it happen, and then I would lose, and I'd be pissed, and then it'd be a whole thing. So this is this is why I think a lot of people aren't doing it, aren't complaining about it enough. Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no, I will not bow to any sponsor. Well, because every time I watch Ariana Sabalenka, it drives me crazy. Because if you have the control to stop the breath when you hit the net or hit the ball out, then you have the control to not do it at all. And it is a tactic in which people are using to gain an advantage, but it's not being called fairly throughout. And that is a big reason why tennis has always had a problem, because it's so inconsistent. I mean, at this point, there's only two options you can do, right? So you can either make these players change the way they play and call it more frequently and say no more grunting, period. And I think that's the way you go, in my opinion, because the, the winner is... It doesn't feel like anybody's going to hold these rules accountable. Or just get, ri get rid of the rule altogether. It's, it's scary. And, there are, and it's a, there's a lot of pressure for those referees to call it. And they're going to get a rash of shit for about five to ten minutes. And then everybody's going to go back to playing. That is my rant. Wimbledon was awesome. Anjabur lost, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. Good on Von Drusova. She played amazing. She was the one that had the bigger shine. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later.